Would you like to build more confidence? Of course, who doesn't, right? So here's a simple way for you to consistently, day after day, every single day, do a little thing that makes a big difference when it comes to building your confidence. Now, you might have heard of habit trackers before. I have an example of one right here. So this is a habit tracker that I use. And all it is, is things that I want to do on a consistent basis, I have listed. And then I have days, for example, of the month, one through 31, for example. And every day that I complete one of those tasks, I mark it off for that day. The goal is to do those things consistently most or all of the days of that month. Simple concept. The idea, of course, being that you identify things, either personally and or professionally, that are little things you can do every day that get you to where you want to be with your goals. But here's a challenge that most people run into when they're trying to step baby steps to get to a bigger goal. They try too hard. Let me say that again. They try too hard. And what I mean by that is they look at each of those things that they need to do, the little steps each day, the habits that they want to be able to check off the list every day, and they make them too big. Inevitably, what happens is they're not doable. At least they're not easily doable. And when something's not easily doable, it usually goes by the wayside. And then we beat ourselves up because we say, I failed. I didn't do it. I'm going to do it this time. No, you're not. If you do it the same way you've always done it, it's not going to work. A perfect example of this is New Year's resolutions. The reason they don't work is because they're not set up so that you can sustain them. New Year's resolutions are all too often a split decision, I'm going to do this, and you have a big goal in mind, but you haven't actually put together the baby steps or the daily habits to get you where you want to be. There's not a lot of planning and strategy. It's just, I want to run a marathon. I want to lose 50 pounds. I'm going to eat healthier this year. I know I've said that for 14 years in a row. This time it's going to be different. No, it's not. And that's okay. It's only not going to be different because you're doing it the same way and approaching it the same way you always have. Here's a secret. Here's a really simple way to make those daily little habits and goals and tasks that move you closer to your goals so simple and doable. As a matter of fact, so simple and doable that you can't not do them. The secret to building your confidence day by day with these little tiny things is make them small. Don't make them big. People tell you, think big. Please stop thinking big. I want you to start thinking small. As a matter of fact, think tiny. And I'll give you some examples of how this works. If I look at my habit tracker, I have some things that are personal and some professional. Everything on my list, I have 10 things that every single day I hold myself accountable for checking off. And 90 plus percent of the time, I check them all off. There are going to be days you just don't get to things, and that's okay. It's not about perfect, okay? Practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes permanent. And when I'm working with building habits and building confidence, what I'm looking for is building permanent. There is no such thing as perfect, so cut yourself some slack. Here's some examples of how you make these little daily things so incredibly doable that you can't not do them. So one of the things on my habit tracker is exercise. Now that's something that probably would be on most people's daily habit tracker if you had one. But here's what happens to make it not work and what happens to make it work. The reason it often doesn't work is if I put exercise down, a lot of times in our heads we attach how exercise is supposed to look. And some of the things that come along with that thinking might be, well, I have to do a half hour video 
or go out on a run or, or you know, go walk for, for 20, 30 minutes or I need to do go to a gym and work out. I have to go somewhere else, maybe to a cardio class or a yoga class and do an hour worth of exercise. And if we think of exercise in that way, let's be honest with ourselves. How, how long are we going to stick to that? How many days are we going to have that time that uninterrupted we can just take a half hour or an hour out of our days? Not often. So here's my habit tracker for exercise. What I have held myself accountable for is one minute of exercise a day. If I do one minute of exercise, I can go ahead and mark exercise off of my habit tracker for the day. Now you might think that is ridiculous. That means nothing doing an, a, a minute a day. And it's funny because you think doing a minute a day is better than doing nothing, right? <sighs> but let me ask you this. I have a little list of things I can do in a minute. One of them, for example, is a one minute plank. So think about this. If all I do for the next 30 days is a one minute plank each day, do you realize in 30 days how much stronger I am? I can do uh, 50 to 70 jumping jacks in a minute. I can go outside and run around the house twice. What are things I can do in a minute? And here's the idea here. It's not to be silly or goofy. The idea is something is always better than nothing. And I guarantee you there aren't many days that I only do a minute of exercise. The same holds true for something else on my list that's business related. So I have writing down. Now I write articles, I do videos, I do speaking and things like that. So I'm always creating and writing. What I hold myself accountable to every single day in order for me to check writing off my habit tracker is two sentences. I have to write two sentences every day to mark that off. Here's the thing. It's so simple, I can't not do it. If it's the end of the day and I'm literally crawling into bed and I think, oh, I didn't do my writing today, I can pick up my phone, I can open a notes app, and I can type a couple of sentences, even if it's, I'm at the end of the day again, I procrastinated, I totally spaced this, I had a busy day, and now I've got to write. And since I have to write two sentences, I've got to write something. And I could just go ahead and babble for a minute and put it down. You'll be amazed at how many times that kind of thing has happened and turned into two or three wonderful articles. The idea is this. How often do you think I only write two sentences? Very rarely. Because if you start writing a couple of sentences, guess what you're going to keep doing? Because a lot of times, it's about getting started. It's hard to write just two sentences, but it's the easiest thing in the world to make yourself write two sentences. So here's a tip that you can use to consistently build your confidence day after day after day and actually sort of gamify it or have some fun with it. Figure out what the goals are you're working towards or that you want to work towards and then make habits that are so small that you can't not do them that you have to do on a daily basis. Write them down somewhere. You can use something like a habit tractor, make it colorful. You can use your planner. You can use a calendar online. You can just check it off on a whiteboard. You can do whatever you want. Put post-it notes up. It doesn't matter. Make it fun. There's no one way or right way to do it. The right way to do it is the way that works for you. So think about a couple of goals Break little tiny pieces of that down and try this for a week or two. You will be amazed at how much you accomplish because little things done consistently have a huge impact. By the way, if you'd like some more tips and tricks on how to build your confidence easily, send me a quick message. I'd love to share some things with you that'll help you be more confident and less stressed.